My name's Darren Rouse and I live in Melbourne, Australia. I'm a full-time blogger on two main sites, uh, Pro Blogger and Digital Photography School. There's a number of things that can significantly increase the amount that you earn from AdSense. Um, one of the first things that I learnt was the position of the ads on your page is really crucial. Um, I discovered that one night when I just took the ads off my sidebar where I thought they were doing really well and put them into my content um, and aligned my content around the ad and overnight my AdSense earnings you know, doubled, tripled. Basically you want to put them where your reader's eyes will naturally go on your page. Um, I find for blogs at the end of a blog post can be a really great spot for, um, for AdSense to perform well because readers are getting to a point where they're pause in what they do on your site and they're looking for something else to do and so they'll click an ad. When I first started my ads really clashed, I thought um, that the, the louder the colours the more likely people would be to see the ads. Um, but soon discovered that the more they blended in and actually looked more integrated into my site, the better they actually performed. Um, you can take that too far though and your ads can blend in so much that no one actually sees them. So you want to play around with that and find ads that fit with your design but actually are seen as well. Putting more than one ad on a page can um, increase your earnings quite significantly as well and that's something um, AdSense give you a whole range of different options, um, the link units and the text ads and the image ads, video ads. Experiment with the different types and you find that some of them will work better on some topics and some sites than others. So yeah, they're just a handful of the things that I've done to increase my earnings. Hey guys, this is Michael Dunlop from Income Diary and Retire21.com. Today I want to talk to you about something really cool. It's uh, how I made $5,000 in my very first month with a brand new blog, which was Income Diary. Now, the concept behind it is really simple and it's something you can all do. So, I started with an idea. People wanted to know how I was doing, what I was doing with Retire21. You know, they wanted to know how I got it up, how I was making money, how I was getting traffic and everything. So, I listened to them, I provided the solution and pretty much I monetized it, which is what I'm going to teach you here. First step is really taking action. You need to do something about it. You've got to get the site up. You know, everyone has these ideas, but they just don't act. So the first thing I did was I want, once I got the blog up, I, uh, I bought a WooThemes from WooThemes.com and uh, I up uploaded it. I got a programmer, a designer, did a few minor changes, you know, customized it, build it a little, do some work on the branding and just uh, I worked on a, a few other pages, which we'll talk about later in, in this. Uh, after that, I, uh, I built momentum, which is hugely, hugely important because, you know, a lot of people don't build momentum. By the way, I should stop for a second and tell you, this was all pretty much, I did everything I needed to do pretty much in three or four days, so don't think, you know, it was a huge plan launch. So when I built my, my momentum, I did this in just a few days. So I started my Twitter accounts. I, uh, I was adding a thousand people on each one every day. You know, I had one for my own, for my name. I had one for Retired to One. I had one for Income Diary. I was just blitzing it. You know, I was adding as many people from the accounts that I knew that I wanted to follow. For example, people in my niche, such as Pro Blogger, John Chow, Shoe Money, anyone like that. I'd go to their followers, I'd uh, follow them, and they followed me back wicked. If they didn't, I uh, unfollowed them, and I. Uh, and then I started following more people again, you know, regular tweeting when people came to my profile to see my site, see that I was, had something coming and, you know, they got excited. I tell them every day, you know, get in there, I've just interviewed this person, just got this top list, watch out for it. So once I did that, obviously I had to get the content and I was doing interviews and I was doing top lists. Now my huge, huge suggestion with this one is you, you interview people who have a following, but they're at the same level as you. So, for example, John Chow, I interviewed him. He's, I wouldn't say he's like a huge celebrity. He's sort of on my level who uh, has a great following. And if I tell him, if I do an interview, he's likely to tweet about it. Actually, I remember that at the time I also interviewed someone called Joel Com, and he's got a huge following and he tweeted it out. You know, that's the huge benefit of tweeting, uh, tweeting Facebook because uh, you can get to a huge audience really quickly. So after that I did some top lists with taskus.com. Uh, 
ask them to do a top list on top 30 bloggers, top 30 webmasters, top 30 anything, you know, whatever, whatever came to my mind, they did for me. We got those up and pretty much after that, I started building a course that people wanted to know when I had the idea. So I put it together. Uh, here's what I did different to everyone else. A lot of people do, hey, check out my free report, check out my free ebook. Great ideas, but for what I was doing, I needed to make sure people took action. I didn't want to just get them on my list, I wanted them to take action. So what I did was I put it in a seven day free e-course. I got myself Aweber and I gave them an autoresponder. And so once they opted in, I would start sending them an email every day for a week. And so what I was doing, like day one, installing your blog, day two, adding a theme, doing some changes, day three, monetizing, or something like that. And every day, they look forward to it. Even to today, I did this about a year ago, even today, I've been getting emails from people saying, hey Michael, is there any chance I can get day two? You know, they they wanted it from me now. You know, they when you give out a free ebook, you know, people didn't really care too much. They, you know, they took action straight away, because they'd be like, yeah, look, get this done today, and then you'll be ready to do tomorrow's assignment tomorrow. So I think that's the whole reason it was so successful. After that, I obviously needed a comparison page because when people opted in, you know, I was going to maybe domain hosting and themes, but people did not want to take me, you know, they didn't want to just, you know, presume I was telling the truth because quite often, you know, marketers just promote something with an affiliate link. It just so happens every sort of company in my industry has an affiliate program, so it didn't matter. What I did was I compared them all, I told them which ones. I recommend but you can see the differences between them all and uh, so whichever way they went they bought through me now getting people on the list is one of the most important things and so what I did was I actually built a separate page I, st I made a page in WordPress and I called it creating a profitable website or a profitable blog and uh, so what I did was I got them to uh, go to that page and opt in before they opted in the opt-in box was right at the bottom what I did was at the top, you know, I told them about it, you know, you're going to have to spend some money if you want to make some money. Not much money, about 100 bucks. You can buy your domain, it lasts a year, it's like 8 bucks. Your hosting, I'll give it to you for one cent for the first month, here's a coupon code, and then get your Wii Just like me, I'm not doing anything I haven't done. So that I think that's pretty one, pretty much one of the reasons it worked so well, is because I showed them exactly what I'm doing, not like just doing it for the sake of it. You know, I, I was using a Wii myself. And I made it look really good, and so that really appealed to to the reader. So another huge benefit of having a, a squeeze page or you know a separate page on WordPress is people want to recommend that your course. If it's good, they'll recommend it. But if you just have an opt-in box in the top right of your sidebar, which I also recommend, but if that's all you've got, people are just going to tweet and they're going to say, "Oh, check out Michael's free uh, free free course. Cool." but they're not gonna always give a link because there's no specific place to go. Having a specific URL for people to go to is extremely important. You can market that page now, you can buy advertising, you could tweet it, you can Facebook it, you can tell other people to tweet it, you know, you can mention it in posts, you know, like top 30 bloggers, you know, at the top, follow in their footsteps, check out my free course. Hugely powerful doing that. And then of course, once they've opted in, you know, you, there's, a, there's a thank you page saying, thank you for joining. Make sure you check your email. Oh, by the way, check these products out. Really beneficial. Then, of course, the no leakage rule. A lot of people have advertisers, they have a blog role, they have the top commenters in the sidebar. Don't recommend any of that. I have two sites which I 21 and Income Diary. One has it, one doesn't. Income Diary outperforms hugely, and Retire 21 has like three times the traffic. So, I pretty, pretty much think that's a fair test, and uh, the reason why is because they get distracted. They check out these other advertisers. Your competition, your competition. They're going to. They they will check out your blog roll. Yet again, most likely uh, your your competition. They're going and then top commenters. Often your competition. So you don't really want to have all that stuff because they're going to get distracted. They're going to go in different directions. And for the money you get, it's not worth it. So I got rid of that. I made sure that they either went to my opt-in page and if they didn't, then they left the site. That was all I wanted, you know, either you're going to make me money, get my list, you're going to do my course, I'm going to email you to come back to my site every so often, you either do that or you leave. You know, there was huge benefit in them getting into my, my list and because of that, 
I made money and quite a bit of it for my first month and actually I, I have to admit I wasn't the best logo when I started this and for me to be able to achieve all of this within just a few days of work I think anyone out there could follow my footsteps and do the exact same thing and what well, it must have cost me like a few hundred bucks to put it all together and the return was huge so good luck let me know how you do and this is Michael Dunlop from Income Guy. Hi, I'm Don Vandervoort, the founder of HomeTips.com. HomeTips helps people make informed decisions when buying home products and materials, and it also offers step-by-step -step advice for do-it-yourselfers. I started HomeTips about a decade ago when I was promoting books that I was writing on home improvement. I actually ran the company out of a small treehouse clubhouse structure in my backyard. It wasn't until about three years ago that I realized home tips could be earning money too. That's when I decided to try Google AdSense ads. I put them on part of the site and revenue came in, so I pushed them out to the entire site and the results were amazing. Since then, AdSense revenue allowed me to step away from the book deadlines and build the kind of business that I really wanted to run. I turned home tips into a family business because I love the idea of having both of my sons working with me. I was also able to involve talented friends who are writers and editors in content creation. We love AdSense because the revenue is so constant it rolls in 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. But the great thing about the ads is that they are so relevant to the content on the page that they become an extension of the information we provide our visitors. If I were to offer other AdSense publishers some tips, I would say, first, use Google Analytics and channels to determine the most effective ads for your site. Second, if you haven't pushed Google AdSense ads out through your entire site, try that because you may be leaving some opportunities on the table. Third, focus on content. Expert, well-written content is critical to bringing visitors to your site, which is the core of your business. That's it for now. I'm Don Vandervoort at HomeTips.com.